Hi guys, Daniel here. Welcome to this Genshin Impact video where we're gonna have a look at all the Animoculus locations. Now, remember that the people of Mondstadt, they call them Moculi. That's what Paimon says. The first Animoculi will be the one that we get from Lisa as we finish the Archon quest Sparks Amongst the Pages. The location for this is Temple of the Lion no, that we find in Gale Song Hill. After all, hilly trails aren't exactly known for their smarts. Break it and we can head home and relax. <sighs> the thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. <sighs> Our second Mokalai will be located west from Temple of the Lion. There is a couple of trees around it, and we can reach it just by jumping from the ground. The third Anamokalai is found south from the Temple of the Lion, close to the road Y formation. To reach the Anamokalai, you want to collect three Anamokalai swirls on the ground that will create a wind current. Animokalai number 4 is located north from the lake at Dadupa Gore. It is floating high in the air in the Ravine Pass. Easiest way to get it would be from above. Animokalai number 5 is found on top of the two dead trees forming a cross at Dadupa Gore Lake. To reach it, we just have to climb up the top. Animokalai number 6 is found inside a hut in the enemy camp south from Dadupagor Lake. Prepare to do some fighting to reach this one. Animokalai number 7 is found on top of a pillar east from Dadupagor Lake. To reach this one, simply climb the mountains on the southeast side and glide over to the pillar. Anamokalai number 8 is found towards the ocean at the plateau north from the Eagle's Gate domain. Anamokalai number 9 is found on the crescent-shaped island to the east. To reach it, we must use the wormhole in the sky northeast from the Electro Hypostasis Arena. We need to guide three Seelies to their statues. That will activate a wind current. But first, we're gonna deal with the enemies in this area. With the enemies taken care of, we can focus on the Seelis. The first one is found under the trees to the west from the Seelis statues. The second one is found to the south from the Seelis statues on top of the pointy cliff. The third and last Sili is found north from the Sili statues close to the cliff edge. When they all are in place, the wind current will activate and we can reach the wormhole. At our destination, the Animokalai is located on top of the portal. You can use the stone or tree to the west and glide over to grab it. <laughs> 
4 and a mock line number 10, we find ourselves east from the Dragon Spine base camp. To reach this one, we can climb the nearby tree, then glide over to grab the Anemokali. A short distance north from the Dragon Spine base camp, we find Anemokali number 11. To reach this one, we collect three anim swirls and create a wind current. Animokali number 12 is floating in the air above the road next to the cliffside. This is north from the Dragon Spine Base Camp and east from the big lake in Springway. An Amokalai number 13 is found next to a cliff east from the big lake in Springvale and north from the Dragon Spine Base Camp. An Amokalai 14 is floating high in the air northwest from the domain Temple of the Lion. To activate the wind current under this one, we must offer one Anamoculus to the Statue of the Seven. So, first we interact with the statue and choose Warship Statue. At the bottom, we can now make an offer. With that, we have a nice animation. This will indicate that we are turning on the wind current. Anemokali number 15 is hovering close to the water, east from the big tree in Windrise. To reach it, just climb the nearby pillars. Anemokali number 16 is hovering south from the big tree in Windrise. To reach this one, we can collect three wind swirls and create a wind current. Animokali number 17 is found on a cliff edge west from the big tree in Windrise. Animokali number 18 is found inside the tree canopy in the big tree in Windrise. Animokali number 19, above this big rock north from the big tree in Windrise. Oh, it's one of those consolidated wind things. Let's head back to the statue of the seven at Windrise and offer it to the gods. Animokali number 20 is hiding in the trees and bushes northeast from the big tree in Windrise. Animokali number 21 is found between two small trees close to the road north from the big tree in Windrise. Animokali number 22 is found on top of the ruined structures next to the little lake southwest from the Thousand Winds Temple. Animokali number 23 is found on top of the ruined structures on the south side of the Thousand Winds Temple. Animokali number 24 is hidden under a pile of destructible rocks northwest from the Thousand Winds Temple and east from the Midsummer Courtyard Domain. 
Use the vision to locate the rocks, then destroy them in any way you find most enjoyable. Animal Klein number 25 is located on an island far out in the sea, east from Star Snatch Cliff and can be a bit tricky to reach, at least time consuming if we decide to make an ice bridge using Kea. We can glide over to the island. To be successful with this method, I recommend to offer some Animoculuses to the Statue of the Seven. In that way, we're gonna get some more stamina. In my video, I leveled the statues to level 6. Then I'm gonna boast gliding and sprinting stamina by eating a Barbados Ratatouille dish. The recipe can be obtained from a girl named Wind who is located at the eastern side of Stormbearer Point. We also want to make sure Amber is in our party as she got a perk called Gliding Champion, which reduced the gliding stamina consumption for the whole party with 20%. With this setup in order, we can glide. When we reach the island, we will find the Anemokali floating in the air on the most eastern side. To reach it, we want to collect three Anemo swirls. The next Animokali, number 26 in my video, is found at Stormbearer Point and reachable as we glide from the tower. Animokali number 27 is a bit tricky to spot, to be honest. This one is hiding outside the cliff edge at the northeast side at Stormbearer Point. For Animoculi number 28, we find ourselves next to the tower southwest from the Animo Hypostasis Cube Arena in Stormbearer Mountains. We can simply glide from the tower to reach the Animoculus. Animo Oculi number 29 is found on a plateau west from the Animo Hypostasis Cube Arena. Simply glide down the edge and be aware of animal slimes. Animo Oculi number 30 is found on a stone pillar east from Monstod City. Animo Oculi number 31 is hidden on the backside of a rooftop at the east side in Spring Whale. Animo Oculi number 32 is found on the cliff west from the Spring Whale village. To reach it, you want to collect three Animo Swirls.
Animal Oculi number 33 is found out in the water, north from Springvale, south from Mondstadt City. Use Kea to make an ice bridge to reach it. Freeze! Animo Oculi number 34 is floating high in the air, east from the Statue of the Seven, between Springvale and Dawn Winery. Collect three Animo Swirls to create a wind current. Animo Oculi number 35 is floating high in the air south from Dawn Winery. Activate the Animo Monument to spawn boosters. Then collect three Animo Swirls to create a wind current so you can reach the boosters. Animo Oculi number 36 is located out in the water, west from Dawn Winery. Simply use Kea to create an ice bridge. Animo Oculi number 37 is located on top of the Dawn Winery building. The house got a little edge where the wall connects to the roof, preventing us from climbing up. So we need to find a spot where we can. Animoculi number 38 is located in the air under the cliff north from the Statue of the Seven close to Dawn Winery. Northeast from the Lupus Boreas, Dominator of Wolves, the Boss Arena is where we find Animoculi number 39. The pillar in the middle with the Animoculus is surrounded with thorns. Burn them with fire or glide from another pillar. In Vulvendum, northeast from the Lupus Boreas, southeast from the Cecilia Garden domain is where we will find Animoculi number 40. It is hovering in the air close to the cliff edge next to a dead tree. Climb the tree to reach the Animoculi. Located in Wulwendum, Animoculi number 41 is found in a small tree close to the water, north from the little beach, west from Monstot City. East from the Cecilia Garden domain, we find Animoculi number 42 high up in the air. Collect three animal swirls to create a wind current. Animoculi number 43 is hidden under a pile of breakable rocks northeast from the Cecilia Garden domain. Use the vision to locate the rocks and be aware of the Hillichol camp next to it. Yeah. 
Animal Klein number 44 is laying in the grass north from the Cecilia Garden domain and north from the Round Little Lake here in Wolvendu. Animokali number 45 is floating in the air off the cliff edge west from Cecilia Garden domain. This would be on the east side if you're walking in the passage that leads to Storm Terror's lair. Animokali number 46 is found on a cliff platform very high up on the west side of the passage leading to Storm Terror's lair. Animokali number 47 is found on top of a pillar platform southwest in the Storm Terror Layers area. Use wind currents to reach this one. Animokali number 48 is found in a beautiful tree in this magical place at the western part of Storm Terror's layer area. <sighs> Animokali number 49 is floating high up in the air to the west from Storm Terror's layer, close to the teleport waypoint. Interact with the Animal Monument to spawn boosters. Animal Okali number 50 is found at the top of the center building in Storm Terror's lair. Use the wind currents and climbing to reach this one. Animokali number 51 is found inside the Storm Terror's layer building and is floating above a ruin guard. Sneaking behind the enemy is not a problem, but you decide if you stay and fight or run away like a coward. <sighs> Animokali number 52 is a sneaky one. It's hidden within the ruins on the west side from Storm Terror's lair. Be aware of the enemies on tower platforms close to this one. Huh. Animokali number 53 is another sneaky one. It's hidden within the ruins on the northwest side from Storm Terror's lair. Animokali number 54 is found on top of the round ruins northwest from Storm Terror's lair. Smart climbing is your key to get this one. North from Storm Terror's lair, we have a body of water with a higher pillar. In the air, next to this pillar, we find Animokali number 55. To reach this one, we just climb the pillar, then glide. Animokali number 56 is found high up at this pillar structure, northeast from Storm Terror's lair. The tricky part here is that the Animokali is placed under the topmost platform. We use the air currents to reach this one. Animokali number 57, probably the most famous of all the Animoculus locations. 
This one is located inside this round tower structure, and we find the structure northeast from Storm Terror's lair. I find it to be somewhat easy to reach this one if we climb up and make our approach from northwest. I use this wall as a reference point as I climb up. We got a rest point if we need more stamina. Then we're gonna reach a platform from where we can go back east against the round tower structure. From here, it's an easy glide over to the tower. Then to get out, we just have to teleport. Animo Oculi number 58 is floating very high up in the air, straight east from the Storm Terror's lair. Trigger the Animo Monument to spawn wind currents and boasters. Have patience here, as the currents comes and goes in cycles. Animokali number 59 is waiting for us on top of the high cliff south from Brighton Canyon, far east from Storm Terror's lair and far north from Cecilia Garden Domain. Animokali number 60 is completely hidden in a tree canopy. It is located on a plateau close to the water northwest from Monstad City, between Wolvendoom and Bright Crown Canyon. Animokali number 61 is hidden inside a pile of breakable rocks. It is located close to the cliffside northwest from Monstad City, between Wolvendoom and Bright Crown Canyon. Animokali number 62 is located in the pass between Wolvendoom and Bright Crown Canyon. It is protected by a wind wall, so we have to glide inside from above. Animo Oculi number 63 is located under the stairs in the ruins and behind this pile of breakable rocks in Bright Crown Canyon. Use the vision to locate the pile of breakable rocks and be aware of the ruin guard patrolling this area. Animo Oculi number 64 is floating high in the air east from Bright Crown Canyon, northwest from Mondstadt City. Use the wind current and boosters to reach this one. Animo Oculi number 65 is floating high up in the air above an island that is located east from Bright Crown Canyon and north from Monstot City. Trigger the animal monument on the island to spawn a wind current and boasters. <laughs> An 
Dynamo Oculi, number 66, the last one we collect in my video. This one is floating high up in the air between the two islands inside the lake north from Mondstadt City. I choose to trigger the Animo monument from the smaller, most north located island to get this one. We don't want to mess with the Abyss Mage on the other island when we're a low-level noob like me. Just telling ya. Alright, that's it. That's all the Animoculus locations for you guys. Hope this video brought you some sort of value. You stay safe now. Much love.